Hey, good morning, guys. So uh, we're going to do a day in the life of a worship drummer today. And uh, actually, my, my day's been very long. The past few days, we've had uh, a conference going on at the church and the guest speaker. Uh, it's been an amazing time. Uh, we've had some some really good services and uh, people's life being changed. It's been great. But, uh, th this morning is, is the last day of it. And uh, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm, I'm very tired. We've had some long days, um, some late evenings. But uh, God's just doing stuff. He's, he's changing people, changing their lives, and uh, it's all good stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get to the church, and uh, I'll talk to you on my way there. Peace. Hey, guys, so we're on our way now to the church, and uh, but first I got to stop and get some coffee, man. Like, I am war plum out, and uh, they normally keep some on tap at the church, but getting there early, you know, it's not really quite ready yet, but... Uh, but while we're on our way, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit. So, uh, so I'm 35 years old. I've got a, a beautiful wife and uh, three beautiful daughters at home uh, that support, and uh, the, they're they're really what keeps me going and, and keeps me motivated to pursue music and and uh, and help change lives with it. You know, I'm, I'm so thankful for them. But um, so I've been playing drums since I've been three years old. Started off hitting pots and pans, you know, in the kitchen with wooden spoons. And uh, most parents would probably be like, "No, that's a bunch of noise. And, you know, we're taking that away from you. Don't, don't, don't do that." But my, my dad's a guitar player, and uh, my, my granny, she's always been a, a, a church piano player type of stuff. So they never seen it as noise. They always seen it as, as me actually making some music, and uh, it paid off because here I am, you know, you know, 35 years old, and I, I'm, a, I'm a drummer. I'm getting to, uh, to to live out a dream of mine, and. Um, and make beautiful music for a sad world as uh once heard on step brothers one of my favorite movies but, uh, yeah I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunities that i have but um but then like i said i'm 35 um i've been in the army for for 12 years that's about well I've, almost 12 years uh, and that's what i do for a living that's my full-time job um it's been good uh, a lot of ups and downs i have been deployed overseas and all that good stuff but uh you know, I'm thankful for it. You know, God used it to uh, really, really make a difference in my life as a, uh, not as a, just as a human being and bring structure to it, but, um, to, I mean, to even make a career out of it, um, even with the opportunity to go to college. Um, so I'm going to college for audio production. So what you might not know is that I'm also a live sound technician, uh, recording engineer. Um, I'm actually, uh, we, we don't have titles at our church, um, but I oversee everything audio at the church. Um, I'm in charge of anything that gets installed or fixed or any of that stuff. So um, that that's kind of like a secret passion of mine that a lot of people don't really know that I, that I do, but I really enjoy it. And uh, But today, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm playing drums at church. Um, I get to do that, you know, you know pretty often. And uh, working on getting a crew for sound, so that way I can have some people to uh, to take some of the load off and uh, free me up to play a little bit more, which is always great. Yeah, yeah we're almost to the coffee shop, but uh, yeah. So that's a little bit about me. Um, go over here and get this coffee and I missed my turn because I'm tired and I need coffee well, all right well I'll see you guys at the church and uh, we'll go over uh, a rig rundown and, and what I'm using today and uh, we'll, we'll get at it and get some uh, some uh, service clips later all right we are here in beautiful Nitro West Virginia here's the church ah, parking lot and me all right so i'm gonna get some stuff out of the truck here we're gonna get inside and uh get setting up but i'll show you what i brought with me today so brought my snare drum uh sjc custom drums this is a 10 ply maple shell it's got carbon fiber inlays wooden badge um, headphones because my in-ear buds have uh, blew out and uh of course, my favorite part of this drum is my family that I told you about. So anytime I go anywhere and play, they're still with me. So thank you, SJC, for making that happen. 
your boy appreciates it. We are in the church, so uh, we do things a little bit different around here. So we actually do church and around as a permanent setting, and uh, it's pretty cool. So it looks like we just started doing this about, I think really just about in, it, in this configuration in about two weeks now. So it's pretty still brand new, but we really like it and uh, it's pretty personal. Um, we have uh, got TVs hung up in, in every corner. Um, that way you can see no matter where you're at, no matter where you're sitting at. Um, speakers, I just installed these speakers um, two weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, it really works out. Um, it was difficult trying to figure out how to do uh, the placement, you know, being in the circle. But, um, you know, God gave me the idea and we figured it out. Um, put all the vocals right here in the middle, the drum booth. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good stuff. So um, let me get my things and we're going to go ahead and get set up. All right, so uh, <laughs> I almost forgot. So I got to put a, a head on the bass drum this morning. Um, last night, our other guy, he uh, he busted through it and uh, we took one off of our travel kit, which yeah, it'll work for today, but uh I've already got some on order. Hopefully they come in pretty soon. So uh, we can uh, get things back to, to good working order. But, ooh, they got a mess in here. Okay, so uh, apparently the drum room is uh, becoming a, a catch-all for everybody. And I'm not a fan of that. So that happens. mind me all right so let's do a, a rig rundown real quick and uh, I'll show you what we've got going on here so this is a DW collector's drum kit um, I think it's like a 1994 model um, but we got the 24 inch kick of course you can see there's no head on it which I'll fix here shortly and uh I believe they're all maple shells. We got 12, uh, 16, and 18 inch toms. Um, symbols are a Peisty, I can't hold this thing right, 2002s. And uh, I'm sure microphones, all the works. So let's get this thing put on there. This thing's tuned up. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, ready to go home, take a nap, uh, and then back to work tomorrow. So uh, thank you for coming along with me today. Oh, oh and real quick, I want to shout out to uh, Diamondback Drumsticks. First time trying them today. And I uh, found these guys. Um, what caught my eye was the etching on the stick here. Um, first, it looks cool. But also, it really helps with grip. Um, I didn't have any trouble um throwing a stick today and uh 
that's impressive because normally I at least fling one or two at the glass. Uh, and secondly, it did not break, okay? And I play pretty hard. I mean, you know, got your typical, you know, battle scars on there, but like, it didn't break. And uh, that was also rather impressive as well. So, um, shout out to Diamondback Drumsticks. All right. Um, hope to hear from them sometime soon and maybe work out a deal. And um, really like their product. Like, honestly, I really like it. It's a pretty good stick. So, anyway, happy Sunday. Peace. Enjoy life. Later.